this is a Ford E350 extended cab with the dual tank. Pretty sure the fuel selector valve is bad. It's just not selecting under the different pressure. So we're gonna go in here, see if we can't fix it on the van without removing it. Yeah, it's probably stuck. Uh, without removing it, we're just going to um, go ahead and I think there's enough room there. There's miles of room. Uh, go ahead and clean it inside the van. Why take it out of the van if we don't have to? So anyway, we got a thorough clean job underneath there. Cleaned it like it's never been cleaned before, because it probably hasn't. Well, why would you clean that? You don't see it. Well, I know. Uh, it's out of sight, out of mind. Inspectors you know? at the car show, they might pop their head under here. see a homeless guy under there trying to remove your catalytic converter but be careful now don't run them over and you know if you find someone under here trying to rip you off they might see how clean this is and they'll appreciate <laughs> it and they'll be like damn look how clean this fuel selector valve is that this guy keeps that clean all right That's on entertainment. So what are you doing right now? Well, there's about uh, eight screws up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. They are a quarter inch drive. Hex nut. Yep, quarter inch hex nut screws. Okay, yeah. Can't wait to go halibut fishing. Yeah, the van won't get to go, but we will. We're gonna fly over this there. This man will be jealous. We'll send it some pictures. I'll be right back. Alright. I'm removing the lid. Oh, little fuel came out. Where's that oil pants right here? Huh? Little fuel popped out of there. We'll see. Okay, well, I can make sure it's on the rear tank. Uh, it's done. It's no longer, fuel's not coming out, it's so. It's on the front tank. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I'll put it on the rear tank. All right, lid is off. Now, there's a Phillips head screw in the middle here. So I need the little shorty Phillips head screw driver wherever it went take your pick um, I picked this one all right now see how tight yeah it's on there good and tight so I know it is bottomed out so the problem with this van is the front tank is not drawing any fuel. It'll only draw fuel from the back tank. All right, the screw is out. Where are you I, from? And I just dropped it. And so, now, <laughs> what I'm gonna do here. Where are you from? Well, I came from you, so. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Back there, you Okay. All right, now this diaphragm needs to come off of here. So you just carefully pull this diaphragm off. Uh, 
well, I don't want to come off. Yeah, did you did you want them gloves? No. Well, it's a bit late now to Too put late. some gloves on. I'll just have some dry skin for a while. You know, working on this Ford van gives me a bit of an accent. <laughs> he's working on the van. He's got. He's from. I don't know where he's from. I came from you guys, so. <laughs> you go. Are you changing the oil? No, the uh, it's the fuel selector, and yeah, it's very stiff. It needs some lubricating, which is. Uh, Man. No, I'm talking to the. Well, I'm talking to the people on YouTube. They're they're watching they my know. video because they're trying to figure this out themselves. So. They want to know why they're watching this video. They're wondering when it's gonna be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Just like me. Okay. So I'm gonna lubricate this with this, uh, you know, lubricant here. It's, it's unstick stuck stuff, as you used to say on the can. Yeah, so if, if you, you find need an it. an old can, it'll say that. And we got some stuck stuff. <clears throat> this ought to work great. I'll see what this does. Pull it up and down. Alright, now I got the diaphragm off. The lubricant helped pull that off. So there's that, if you could clean that up for me. Yeah. All right, Which now. Which way did it go? It's, uh, you're looking at the bottom of it right now when I faced it up to you. Okay, so it went like that. Something like that. All right, so this is the uh, switch here. It's just operated on pressure and it is pretty stiff. It needs lubricating. Oh, it'll come. It'll come right around. It won't select the front tank. Is yeah. What it's doing. So what I was saying is the front tank will not draw because this would not open. So I'm squirting it with this lubricant here. This is saving so much time not taking it out. Yeah, we would have been still struggling on the fuel lines trying to remove it, possibly well, breaking the little plastic right. clips. I'm clean this part of it. Alright, so I've doused that and I'll try and manipulate it some more. So it was only drawn off the rear tank and the front tank would not draw. And nine times out of ten, from what I've researched, this is the problem. So hopefully this fixes it. it seems like it's moving a little better now. I'm going to keep on doing this a few times. A little easier here. I'll just keep it. Keep on doing this a few times. Well, it's kind of springing up on its own now. Yeah, it's getting better. So there is no electronics going to this switch. It's all based on pressure. When you change from one tank to another, it uses the boost pump in the tank you've selected and it starts pushing the fuel up to the selector valve here and Did the you pressure say you're from YouTube. No, I'm not from YouTube, but I'm <laughs> posting on YouTube. <laughs> I no. came from you, is you what I came said. From you too. I'm from your loins, so. You, 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 you came from you too. I, you know, they're they're a pretty good band, but okay. I, I don't listen to them very much. <laughs> bang bang. 
All right, so the 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 pressure valve here is working on its own. See, I push it down, and it comes up, and like I was saying, the boost pumps in each tank they are what control this valve. You put the pressure to one, and it sends it one way, and you put the pressure to the other, and it moves the valve the other way. Nothing electronic hooked up to this I valve like here. Those brake system. Yeah. On that. The MGs. MG. Yeah, when your uh, brakes go out on one of the systems, one of the circuits, the brake pressure valve goes off and a light goes on on your dashboard saying one of your circuits is down. Not that you probably wouldn't notice because, you know, all of a sudden half your brakes aren't working and you'd probably notice that. Um, but that's unrelated. Unrelated. Totally. But good information. So it looks like this is working pretty good now. I'll probably just squirt it one more time. Keep moving it around. Couldn't hurt it. So there's no kind of gasket that was on here that I could see. It was just the diaphragm. Uh, they recommend putting RTV on here, you say? Well, we're going to try it without. Alright, we'll see if she I'm leaks. She's cleaning it really well. Right now. Well, this thing's popping like it's the 4th of July, so... Manipulate it real good. Okay, here, um, if I could get a paper towel in here, I'll mop up the excess lubricant that I've squirted in here. Oh, it's all right. You can just leave it in there. I get, I don't know. What if it gets all coagulated yeah, or something? Yeah, you you want to blow it out? No. Why not? Well, I could. Blow it out. I'll just close my put eyes. Put the um, tissue over the top and then just blow, you know, underneath it. Yeah, I'll just there. I'll make sure my mouth and eyes are closed before I do that. Oh yeah, 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 I might. It'll exfoliate the skin on my face. You might appreciate the gritless. Have a little lubricant wash. Uh-oh. Try the compressed air, I guess. I'll just get out of the way. Yeah. Alright, let's see what kind of mess we make here. Put the rag over the top. I only got one hand, I'm leaning on my other arm. So I can. Right. Or I'll just get down here. Good idea, man. Daddy, good idea. Oh, yeah. Old is gold, is what I've been told. And yeah, well that pushed all the, if there was any gas left in there, that pushed it out. And it okay. also pushed out the lubricant. 
so here you go i think i mostly pushed a bunch of gas out push this uh put that back on so and this was down the the rubber side was down that's why it was hard to come off the rubber was stuck to okay. the and then you got this here and it's all clean so there's b on here I wonder if B stands for bottom. Yep. Okay. I'll the put, metal goes up. Yeah, metal's on top, but the diaphragm itself has B on one side and nothing on the other side. I want to say that the B was facing in. I should have paid more attention, dang it. Well, the metal was up. Oh, here. Yeah, I got you. I, I know. That, that, that goes that, on here. That's correct metal on top b for bottom if y'all can see that there's a all right there's a b right there anyway that probably oh, we'll just say b for bottom we'll try it out and if it don't work we might know what's wrong it'd be for so, boob you know yeah, b boob. b could stand for a lot of things oh no it's so, the, the, I'll try this out here. So we got that on there, and you got okay the screw, the screws right here. Uh, lining this up could be tricky. I'll put the screw in first. Screw in top, washer, diaphragm, B on the bottom, putting it on there, and screw it in place. Shorty Phillips screwdriver. Is it going in there? Okay, I believe it's got to be maybe pushed down. Oh, dang it. Now I got to line it back up. All right. You know, it's always something. So let's line this back up. probably got to be pushed down and then screw in is this all right thank you for handing me the lid what's Randy doing he's working with his excavator over there going in I believe it's going in oh, it's just the freaking neighbor yeah it's just the neighbor don't worry about it all right it's going in all right it seems like seems like it's good and snug let's we'll give it a little a little torque not too much okay cap it quick all right and we'll see if we have to put it on. Yeah. Well, we'll just put it together and then dry. Alright. Hopefully we won't have to. Uh... Now there's only one way this lid goes on here, so yeah. you can't get it wrong. It's got guide pins. If it leaks, all we have to do is take it back apart, dry it off, and then 
gonna put that sealer, a uh, gasket, gasket sealer on it, and then put it back together. We'll find out. Make sure these mating surfaces are clean, and the diaphragm is seated. Got our guide pins. And put our guide pins in position. So, all right. It was the selector. Um, now, for some reason, we'll start. it's not seating down all the way. Oh, well, you probably have to push push down on the two pin areas. Uh, I'll try putting the screws in, and maybe oh, there might be a it might be under pressure. Yeah. So let me hold it down while you put the screws in. So there's like a very small amount, but you can see how I don't want to seat all the way. I don't want to break it. It, it turns just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So I've got the guide pins located. Yeah. But I don't know why the lid isn't seating all the way. Well, let's I mean, go ahead and put the screws in. All right. I didn't mean to put my arm in your face. I was just reaching for the That's screws. That's okay. I went black. It went, it went dark. Who turned out the lights? All right, you don't have to hold it. It'll be well, fine. Well, I better hold it. Well, your hand will be in the way as I put the screws okay. in. So go ahead, you're good. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. You still with me, YouTubers? All right, all right, good. Just tighten it equally all the way around. Yep, like you tightening know. up your lug nuts. You bounce around opposite corners. A star pattern. Yeah, you know, it's about the twist of the uh, your just a just a twist of not your wrist but your fingers. Yeah. Tight. Finger tight torque. Torque about seven, no more than five pounds. I mean, four if, pounds. Yeah. We'll I try. guess finger tight depends on the user. Yeah. You know, if you're some kind of strong man, don't go reefing it down. Oh, hey. Tight, tighter isn't always better. Yeah, tighter can be worse. It. You, you, you're limited there. Oh, wow. I mean, tight can be very good. Gasoline makes my hand slippery. But yeah, you don't want it falling off. Well, this ratchet ain't very good. They don't want to ratchet. This one guy, he he wasn't trying to tighten it, but he tightened it. He over tightened and stripped it. So. Whoops. Yeah, watch out. Gentle on this one. Oh, plastic.
Alright, well, I'm just gonna get them all close, and then when I go to torque, I'll go to opposite sides. For now, we're treating it like a merry-go-round. I can't wait to start it up. Yeah, we get to use the front tank again if it works. It's probably gonna run like crap. Gas is like five years old. I'll go and get some additive, put some additive in there. Um, but wait until I'm out of here. Yeah, we're not we're not uh, sponsored by anybody, but you know, Stable, Lucas, Heat, any of those, or you know, make a cocktail, you know, trifecta on there. And yeah, like I said, we're not sponsored, but the lubricant we put in here was WD-40. pretty much down touching the lid now I got a little mixture I've got some Lucas injector cleaner and some stable and I was telling our viewers that uh, they could make a cocktail if they want oh, yeah. a little trifecta all three of them in there Let's go here and yeah. other side and there. It's like the lug nuts on your car, a little bit at a time. Well, if people know how to do that, some people don't know that. There's a, a, a direction, or I should say, a pattern. Well, you should do that with everything, you know, everything from your head bolts to your lug nuts, you know, your, your oil pump, anything. Not everybody knows that. So. You know, tighten it down evenly. Don't just do well, one on side, side or another. On the road, on the freeway, and, you know, a semi passing by. You know, splashing you. It's raining. And you're feeling kind of desperate. You put your wheel on and you don't get around. It just ain't going fast enough for you. Like. Okay. Will this baby ratchet now? No, this ratchet needs lubricating. Oh well. Oh, there we go. We got ratchet action. I'm gonna put the flashlight back up here. There we go. Can I start it? No, not yet. Just trying to get a. Are you gonna hang out under there while I start it up? Yeah, I'll see if I get a gasoline bath. Bath. It's crazy. Uh... 
you could come, I would come out. Yeah, we could just leave our YouTube viewer here and they'll tell us if it sprays or not. You can leave that guy down there. They'll let us know. <laughs> Shut it up! Shut it up! <clears throat> Squirting in the camera lens. Oh yeah, I don't want to. Plastic bag over the top of your camera. Well, then you won't be able to see anything. Yeah, you don't want you don't smell your phone with you don't smell like gasoline. Put a bag over. Put a bag on. Put a bag over their head. That's not very nice. Just aiming for finger tight here. You got another paper towel? I'm gonna wipe off this thing so my hands aren't slippery. I only have this one. Oh, well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Well, if you want a brand new one, I'll go get this one. This'll be working fine for me. Okay. This'll do it. Right. Just make it so my hands aren't so slippery and I can feel the torque better. We saved a lot of time, hopefully, not taking this pump yeah, out. You know, I think they're about 250 bucks for a fuel pump that we... Oh, you know, I call it a pump. It's not a pump. This is uh, the selector. I know, but most people were, were uh, aiming us toward the fuel tank pump. We we'll were see, told. see people try and tune with their pocketbook and that just doesn't work yeah right well we were told you know why don't you check i think it's probably your the pump in the fuel tank itself is gone bad we could hear the boost pump in the tank working so we knew better you know you don't just Start buying parts. You got that uh, mirror. Let me see that mirror. Thank you. So I can see what I'm doing here. Alright. And they all look pretty good and seated, but I'll just go around, make sure they're good and snug. Sorry if I'm blocking your view, but I gotta make sure these are good and snug. I'm choked up on the top of this ratchet. I'm barely even applying pressure. And I'm just still turning. Yeah, so I'm just making Go all the way down. Yeah, they're they're seated now pretty much. So I'm just taking her easy now. I don't wanna go too far. Once you go too far then you're gonna have to replace the whole thing. I smell bacon. I smell gas. Uh, you smell bacon? I smell bacon. Oh man. Someone's cooking. Hey. Is it mom? Is mom cooking? Oh yeah, burgers with bacon. Yeah. All right. For 
some reason uh, the gas isn't coming off this wrench it's just like permeated on the wrench or maybe it's permeated on my fingers and making my fingers turn into soap but hang on I'm not tight yet I know you want to turn it on but hang on let me just make sure here we're good and snug First. Yeah. I can't wait to drive it again. I mean, there was nothing stopping us from driving it. We just couldn't use the front tank. Select to the front, or the back, or the front. You know, we ran it dry. Yeah, we ran it dry, and it was on the front tank at the time, right? Well, yeah, well, yeah, and then we switched to the back tank, and it was dry. And you were switching back and forth and like, and uh, and we were stuck. like you were square dancing, but. Yeah, huh. They don't appreciate being run dry. Only allow the rear tank. Keep her fueled up. It showed a full tank. back in the house now I got it all tightened up you want to start it up I'll turn the key then all right I'm just gonna you got the safety glasses hand me the safety glasses over there I'll put these on and that ought to be good enough okay, just get up. yep all right here we go okay, here it goes. That's the high pressure pump there. Yeah, I'm still alive. Well, no dripping? Nah, nothing. Perfect. Yeah, do you switch it back and forth? Yeah, several times. Well, cool. Well, I'll just have to take it for a test drive then. Alright, I'm going to start it up again. Put on the rear tank. Alright.
Thank you. Oh, you. you're very welcome, Dad. You did awesome. That beat. It pays to watch some YouTube yeah. videos. Yeah, you take what you like and you leave the rest. Yeah. So. Find out what's real and what's bullshit. So. Okay. That beat the heck out of taking the thing out, just yeah. leaving it in here. Yeah, didn't have to buy anything. And didn't have to put a sealer on it. Yeah, not even any RTV. Yeah, you clean it. Yeah, there, you know, we're looking around, there's just miles of room in here. It's like, why do we need to take it out? Yeah, perfect. Love you. I love you too. Awesome.